Hey friends, so today I wanted to talk about my journey from cloud engineer to DevOps engineer. A bit about my past, uh, or kind of my career trajectory from help desk to cloud engineer and then to DevOps engineer. But I stayed in the cloud engineering role for almost two years before I got into DevOps. And I made this tweet uh, just to give people, you know, perspective on what were, this, what were some things that I focused on during my cloud engineering role when I knew that, you know, DevOps is where I want to go. So yeah, I wanted to kind of make a video on how I went from cloud engineer to DevOps engineer. So here it is. Starting with the actual tweet, as we can see, I wanted to share my approach on how I did it. So the first thing that I focused on was understanding the fundamentals of SDLC and, you know, just getting to know about what CICD basically meant. So, you know, SDLC stands for Software Development Lifecycle. And I just kind of was trying to understand how our company, how the app and the SaaS that we provided, uh, what was the development lifecycle for it, you know, from uh, working on a feature to how uh, the builds were done in Team City to how it was deployed in AWS. What were some things that could be improved? What were some projects that the cloud engineering team wanted to work on uh, and were would fall under the DevOps kind of space? So yeah, SDLC, uh, CICD, which stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment. So I recommend checking out Fireship's YouTube video. It's on DevOps CICD explained it 100 seconds. I'll make sure to link it down below. I also have a playlist myself. So I created some DevOps videos. I think there are four explaining all of the bits and pieces of SDLC. So I'll link that playlist down below too. Move on to the next one, which is the version control system. So most likely there will be you know, some kind of version control system. It could be GitHub, Bitbucket, you know, GitLab. Uh, so they all work with Git, um, which is why you need to learn this. So there were some scripts already that, you know, the cloud engineering team had, which were hosted on Bitbucket initially and then uh, Azure DevOps. So you need to learn a version control system, how, you know, branching works, how you create a pull request and what kind of Git workflow uh, your team follows. So understanding the basics of Git will help you a lot. So I highly recommend this video from Kunal where he has a complete Git and GitHub tutorial. So go check it out. You know, it's an awesome resource to upskill yourself with Git. So the next one uh, on the list was IAC. I knew where the kind of the focus of the company was at that time. You know, we want we were using CloudFormation and we were trying to automate a lot of the deployment process of the infrastructure uh, in AWS. But we were also exploring, you know, Azure and GCP. So for me, it was a no brainer. I also consulted with the manager and other teams and realized that, you know, Terraform, since it's cloud agnostic, would be a great resource to learn. So IEC stands for Infrastructure as Code and Terraform is one of those uh, Infrastructure as Code tools. So you write, so Terraform has their own syntax, um, but basically you write a script or a code file which would define your infrastructure and it also deploys it for you. So cloud agnostic basically means that, you know, you can use Terraform to deploy AWS, Azure, GCP, and any of the other cloud providers that we have. Free Code Camp has this great crash course on how, uh, which will help you understand how Terraform works. I'll again, link it out in below, but check that out. So far we have three, three concepts that have covered. So, you know, SDLC uh, and learning the fundamentals of DevOps, so CI, CD, uh, and then moving on, we have Git. You could use GitHub because, you know, most of my personal projects are on GitHub. So that way you know how to host them on GitHub if you, you know, learn and familiarize yourself with Git. So Git and GitHub. Third is IAC. 
are known as infrastructure as code. And I would pick Terraform since it's cloud agnostic. Moving on to the fourth one, which is configuration management. So, you know, it is a systems engineering process for establishing and maintaining consistency of a product's performance. It helps engineers to run and support large scale infrastructure and apps. So, you know, when you think of an enterprise or a company running a SaaS software, you would have a lot of infrastructure. And in order to manage and configure that infrastructure, you use these configuration management tools. Ansible um, is a really popular one. And Tech with Nana has this great tutorial on what is Ansible and how you utilize Ansible playbooks. So yeah, check out again, huge shout out to Tech World with Nana for providing these amazing resources. We have the last one that I focused on, but there are, are a lot more topics that you might need to cover. This is just me reflecting on my journey from cloud to DevOps. Um, we have monitoring on the fifth. So, you know, monitoring is really crucial uh, when it comes to DevOps because you need to monitor your infrastructure that's in the cloud or on-prem. Um, my pick of the tools here were Prometheus and Grafana since you know I had some projects where I could utilize these open source tools. And Grafana was uh, pretty easy to self-host uh, since I was also experimenting with Raspberry Pi at the moment. So I had a Grafana instance running on my Raspberry Pi locally. I have this great video here again from the digital life. And he gives you a introductory tutorial on both Prometheus and Grafana. Feel free to check it out. We also have, you know, learn to cloud guide. There is a phase four, which is completely dedicated to DevOps. So all of these points are covered there. There's a bit more detail on the skills and technologies you would need to learn to get into DevOps. Uh, and there are also some other great resources in that guide. So go check it out. And yeah, this was pretty much it. So I hope you find the video helpful. Please make sure to like, uh, comment down if you are trying to get into DevOps or if trying to break into cloud, comment it down below. You know, we are this amazing community of 6.5K people and I just can't wait for you to succeed. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.